Hi everyone and welcome to another video on I Do Care, a very special one, or at least for us, because today we are going to introduce you to our new baby. Because as many of you know, it has been four months since we lost our beloved Baloo after an intense fight against cancer. Our black boy left us with just five years just turned. And since then, many puppies have passed through our house and our hearts but we did not feel ready to adopt another puppy still. However, the fact of having so many adorable puppies with us only made us more and more want to keep each one of them that passed through here. Until one day, without looking for it, as always happens in this life, our doll arrived. Dear family, we introduce you, Bonnie. came into our lives in an interesting way. It was a few weeks after delivering the last puppies we had at home, Pekas and Manchas, and during the time we had Bali and Rusty at home. We had just realized that Rusty could not live properly with Jax and we were giving ourselves the task of finding a perfect home for him. As I told you, we spent days and days involved in all the adoption groups on Facebook looking for the perfect person for Rusty. And just like us, we publish the puppies from the shelters with which we collaborate to find them their perfect families, so do many other people. And it was at that moment that we found ourselves with this. In fact, it was Rebecca who saw it. And you know about Rebecca's weakness with black dogs. Baloo was totally black. And when we had Molly at home, Rebecca was in love with her. In fact, when she sent me that screenshot, the first thing that came to my mind was Molly, all black with that girl girl face and those pompous little ears. She asked me if I thought it was time to adopt another doggy, if she should write to the girl who made the post. I told her that the moment would be as soon as she felt ready, that there is no stipulated time for these things. And if she had felt that special click with that dog, that feeling inside you that tells you that it is her, let's write then. After thinking about it for a while, she decided to write. She was very nervous. She would write one thing, then change it and write it in a, in a different way. She spent a good while thinking about what to write. And when she finally writes the message, a Facebook error message pops up saying, the comment could not be published because the author delayed the post. So much deliberation, so that in the end, nothing. Just in case, Rebecca also sent a direct message to the woman through the Facebook chat, but the message was not even seen. So we understood that another person would have already gone ahead of Rebecca and that the dog would have already been adopted. So well, nothing happened. That dog was not for us. Now another will appear, there is no room for drama. In fact, now that we are in contact with so much shelters, it is a matter of time before the right one appears. Well, the days passed, specifically a week. I remember it was Thursday. Rebecca and I were buying a few things in San Jose. Suddenly her phone rings, the typical Facebook message sound. Rebecca opens it and releases a me, who was driving, turning around and asked, Wiz, what's going on? You can imagine. It was the woman who was offering Bonnie up for adoption a week ago that she had writing, hello, you still want her? We couldn't believe it. Rebecca was in tears. And in less than an hour, we were picking up our little black thing. According to what the girl told us, the dog had actually been adopted but in, at some point, the adopter baked down and in the end, he did not adopt her. Bonnie was the only black girl in a little of five. Bonnie's mother was a Labrador mix who ran away and because she was not neutered, she returned home pregnant. Impossible to know who the father is, she gave birth to five puppies of which four were the typical golden color and then there was Bonnie all black and apparently nobody wanted her 
because she was the only one who was not adopted. As I always say, it seems unbelievable, but black dogs have much more difficult to get out up for adoption. But luckily for them, there are always those who do love black dogs. So then we went to pick up our baby. Oh, it's muy bonita. Hola, mi amorcita, pero esta carita. Por Dios, es muy linda. Hola, mi amor. Oh, pero por qué está perfecta. Es muy bonita. Es más bonita de lo que pensé. Es más bonita de lo que pensé. Totally melted. If when we have any puppy in foster care at home, we melt with them, well, imagine when we know that she is going to be our daughter and that we are going to give her everything for the rest of her life. Our melting level is obviously even higher. When we got home, we made the proper introductions with Mocha, Rebecca's parents, Sausage, with whom things were great and today they spent all day playing with Buster who was very happy wagging his tail like crazy and sniffing her non-stop and with Bali with whom she was going to share two or three weeks before she left for her new home in Wisconsin and while Bali was at home Bonnie played with her all the time and we have to give Bali credit for being a very good older sister. because she put up with everything. The little one beat her ears, her legs, and Bali put up with it very patiently. They spent the whole day playing, and when night came, they fell. Well, we fell exhausted. Bonnie has made us fall in love with her way of being and she fits in very well with us because in addition to having shown us to be intrepid like her little brother Bustard, she also made it clear to us from the beginning that she loves water, but at very high levels. So as we learned that she was intrepid, that she loved the water, and after giving her all her proper vaccinations, we proceed to put her to the test in the real world. First test, dog park. In that, there she went into the pool, and the interaction with other dogs quite well too. So it was time to move on on the next test, we recently discovered very close to Rebecca's parents' house a very beautiful river surrounded by leafy nature, typical in Costa Rica, perfect to take on this little adventure to see what is her made of. Boy, muy bien. <laughs>
expected, she made the cut. And another thing that we love about her is that she imitates a lot, but we love it because she has a very good example to follow, Little Buster. <laughs> him everywhere and tries to imitate him as much as she can. So going with her in places of adventure gives us a lot of peace because Buster is a very good guide and he is going to be the best Boy Scouts teacher that Bonnie could have. Cross the rivers without hesitation. She ran along the riverbank after Buster, looking for adventures, but above all, enjoying every second. She was full. She loved the day on the river and she couldn't make us happier because as you will know, we are very adventurous people, very fond of going to rivers, to waterfalls, beaches, and for us, it was very important that the puppy that joined our family also liked that a lot, so that he would enjoy it as much as we and Buster. So on that side, this sweetie completely won us over too. feel very grateful that she has come into our lives and without a doubt we will give her the best of us for the rest of her days. Millions of thanks for joining us in one more video. We really wanted to show you our new baby. Baloo will never be forgotten, but without a doubt having this little girl at home brightens our days and makes our grieving process a little bit easier. I want to remember that you can follow us on our Instagram, I do care CR, where we publish a little more about our day to day. And that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Please leave your comments. It is always a pleasure to read you. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do. And if so, I leave you here a couple of videos that probably you will like them too. I send you a big, big hug and see you very soon.